Just got done dropping a co-worker off. He was having car problems, so I ended up giving him a ride home on the back of my bike. Today, okay, today I wanted to talk about um, riding two up. Uh, it's a timely talk, it just because I just finished doing it, and I wanted to talk about how you do it, what you should do, what to expect when you ride two up. Um, now, I rode by myself for like almost a year before, no, it was like, uh, actually it wasn't that long. I started riding two up almost immediately after I got my first bike, only because I was working on it. And, hold on a second. Only because I was working on it, and my, uh, my, my, uh, brother-in-law was helping me get some parts, so we would just ride it up there when we needed to. But, I learned a lot riding two up in a short period of time, because, uh, I got this, uh, granddaddy cruiser uh, excuse me just for that reason first thing um, that you have to pay attention to when you're riding two up or at least for me is um, is uh, you make sure whoever's riding with you is wearing proper gear and you go over a couple of safety things with them come on man there you go safety thing number one um, I'm gonna call it I'm gonna put it down here when I dip you dip we dip. If I put my hands up on my hip, when I dip. All right, I'm done. All right, um, rule number one is leaning. Um, whenever someone's riding to me, I let them know you have two choices. You either lean with me or you do not lean at all. Um, so those are your two options. Um, because if you get scared and lean against me, you're fighting the forces of the bike. Because how a motorcycle works, is um, there is a thing called counter stare. Wh whichever direction you turn the handlebars at speed will cause the bike to go in that direction. So if I was to turn the handlebars to my left, like so, it would cause the bike to dip um, in the opposite direction. I say the same direction, I meant opposite. That's counter staring. Um, but not only does counter staring turn you, but leaning turns you too. So when you're, while you're counter steering, you're leaning. It's not, you can turn a bike without leaning to a certain point, but if you're trying to make a, uh, I'm not even gonna try to even act like I know what I'm talking about. But when someone counter leans, when they lean the opposite direction the bike is going, depending on how the weight is distributed between the front and back, it can cause a weird wobbling effect, which I've had happen to me. I've had to pull over and be like, look, you, you need a freaking lean. Um, my wife is pretty good about leaning with me. Um, when we first started riding, she had a, a little bit of a fear about riding, only because she'd been in a very minor accident. So she was very fearful about leaning. So when I first rode with her, I made a habit to, when I was taking corners, take them slow, not lean a lot. And then I slowly progressed to where now I can lean and she's fine with it. It's second nature to her. But the very first time I leaned a lot to go around a corner, she freaked out and lean the opposite direction and it caused the bike which was my shadow at the time to do this little motion like it was almost like it was fighting itself and I had to stop and tell her hey you need to lean with me or don't lean at all and and then she she didn't lean at all for the longest time and now she just naturally go let's tell her if the bike leans just naturally lean with it that's all you have to do um that is something a rider your passenger needs to know when I ride with my girl we can't really hear each other or talk especially if I'm wearing my full face helmet I'm wearing my half helmet and I have my windscreen up, we can hear each other fine if I yell and tilt my head like this a little bit. But um, if I'm not wearing my, my half helmet full face, she can't hear me at all. So we have a lot of hand signals. If she wants to stop, go to the restroom, if she needs a break, we'll stop. Because I've never ridden on the back of this, but I can ride for a long time on the front. I don't know what the back's like. She sat in the front seat and said the front seat is way more comfortable than the back. So I'm going to assume that she gets tired faster than I do. So we take more breaks, more than even I would. Um, when you're riding two up, you want to make sure that you take weight into consideration. Um, you have more weight on the bike. 
so the bike is going to be um, not, not sluggish, for lack of a better term. It's not going to turn as crisp. It's not going to respond as fast as it normally is. It's just not going to, to do what you expect it to do all the time. Um, so you need to increase your following distance. You need to make sure that when you're, you're turning, you, you decide what maneuver you're going to make and move it and stick to it. Whether that's a turn, how hard you're going to turn. It, you almost have to take an extra step and think about what you're going to do before you do it. Because once the bike is in a position, it's hard to pull it back out and go back in. To that. So let's say you're in a turn and you're like, all right, I want to turn here, but you change your mind. If you're riding by yourself, you could easily pick the bike back up, give it a little gas and then turn where you want to turn. But if you already start to, to make that decision to turn and you're in the act of turning, depending on who's riding with you, you might have already committed to that. So you definitely want to think about what you're doing before you do it. Um, just because the bike becomes a little bit sluggish. Um, obviously with weight affects acceleration. Um, now my bike is fine. I can definitely tell a difference when I'm riding it by myself and when, when I have a passenger, just because of the weight now, I'm not saying that I need more power, it's just it takes a little bit longer to accelerate. It will get to whatever speed I want, no problem. I think I just stopped recording. No, I didn't. Back on topic. So, I mean, that does take into account, um, you know, having somebody. I don't care how much horsepower something has. I've ridden stuff with as low as 25 horsepower, like my Shadow. You know, it's rated at 30, I would guess it's 25 at the wheel. I've ridden two up on that. No problem getting to the speed I want. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer, but not any longer than, than, than a car would. In fact, I could accelerate much faster than a car anyway, even with a passenger. Um, but, uh, the, you know, once, the, once you understand those things and you get used to it, it's going to take you a while to adjust. Muscle memory, how you ride, the feel of the bike all changes. So there is a little transition period. The more you do it, the less you have to worry about transitioning. For the longest time, even after I got this bike, it would take me a while to figure out, you know, how much of everything to do. And it would put me in like a, 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 a very unsure position, very, even though I have experience, just learning the bike and learning a passenger, you know, changes how the bike handles. But now that I get on it, I, my wife gets on it, my mindset changes and away we go. And um, I, the more I ride with her, the more I'm learning the limits of what I can and can't do. So there is no guessing, like, can I make this maneuver? Can I turn this way? You know, I need to turn in here. Can I make this sharp of a turn? I know what the bike can do. Um, other than that, you know, that pretty much covers it. Now, the awesome thing about riding two up is you get to take, you know, somebody with you. It, it, there's no greater feeling in the world than sharing, you know, one of your passions where for me it's motorcycling with with, with your spouse or, or girlfriend that is awesome you know just to go for a ride it definitely changes your perspective it makes you plan your ride a little bit differently you take go different ways you're not so focused on point a to point b as a part of the journey in between so riding two up is awesome you know if you just go ahead and um and just be careful when you do it Practice, 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 and w once you're good at it, you'll, it'll definitely be something you enjoy. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm Reggie with two G's telling you to keep the rubber on the two, on the G, 2G Reggie Audi, Audi, Audios, peace. I, I, I don't have enough.